Hi, my name is James Brown. I'm Head of Research and Development at Stella Doradis. So we're here today to talk about repeaters and oscillations. Repeaters are used for enhancing the indoor coverage uh, for mobile phones and iPads and such like. And one of the big problems poorly designed repeaters can cause are oscillations. An oscillation will damage the operator's network and it causes such problems that the uh, regulators, the telecom regulators, will actually call around to offending buildings and shut down those repeaters. So I'm often asked, well, what is an oscillation? So an oscillation uh, occurs when the gain of the amplifier or repeater is greater than the path loss between the indoor and outdoor antenna. So I've actually set up a situation here with one of our circuit, board, uh, circuit boards, one of our repeaters. I've taken off our oscillation control. Oscillation control is quite a new technology, and it's very, very important to have in repeaters. And we've, we've done a very good job of designing a very sophisticated version of this. So if you can uh, zoom in here to the, the signal analyzer. So this is a very, very high-tech piece of equipment. We have our circuit board here. I've adjusted some components in the board so that our oscillation control does not work. I have an indoor antenna here. I have an outdoor antenna here. And these antennas are physically quite close together. And if you zoom into the screen on the analyzer, you'll see this high power tone here. And as I move this antenna around, you'll see it pops up like that. And this is what causes damage to the base stations. This, these high power tones uh, will be sent from the outdoor antenna back up to the base station and desensitize the base station. Thus making your phone calls very good, but for everyone else, every other user of that base station won't be able to make their phone calls. So, as I, as I move this around and change the uh, path loss between the two outdoor and indoor antennas, you get different patterns emerging. So, I'm going to go and I have to go back to the, uh, the microscope and put in some put in some components back into this to make the oscillation control work and I'll show it to you again how, how, it, how it operates. Okay, so we're back again. I've put the oscillation control back into the, the repeater. Now, the oscillation control happens quite quickly, so I'm going to plug in the repeater. You will see an oscillation immediately, and within a few seconds it will uh, get pulled down. There's the oscillation. Just pulled down. Now I'm going to, as I move around, it develops an oscillation again and it gets pulled down again further. So I'm going to move the, the two antennas closer together. You can see there's the oscillation and it's nearly gone. Just gone there now. So this is dynamic oscillation control. There's no user control required. It happens automatically. And we believe this is really the only way oscillation control can operate. Uh, some, some repeaters that we've seen in the market, some cheaper versions require the installer or the user to adjust a screw manually to try to reduce the oscillation. But the installer can leave the premises and an oscillation can develop and then you're, you're left to deal with the problem. Um, so that's it.